For today's adventure, we've decided to do some exploring and fishing in Anchorage, Alaska and its surrounding areas. We also ended up at Russian River where we saw three big surprises while everyone were casually fishing. With that said, let's jump right into our video and show you our adventure. After a few hours of driving, we finally have arrived at Eagle River Campground. Luckily, we were able to find a spot near the Gushing River. After setting up our camp, we decided to go fishing at Ship Creek Anchorage, a popular spot not only for tourists, but also for local sports fishermen. It's located in the heart of the city, which makes it one of the most sought after locations, especially when the salmon runs are at its peak. Currently, king salmon are the primary fish that runs, but due to their very low population, it makes it really hard for them to catch. We'll see if we can get some action. We're about to try this out. So right now I don't really know what I'm doing so I'm just using this uh, tiny uh, spinning glow right here and I put some uh, salmon row attached to the uh, to the hook so we'll see ship creek first cast see what happens Beautiful day out here though. Beautiful day to be out here. Fourth of July weekend. People are starting to show up. So earlier there or, or wasn't there wasn't really many people out here. People are starting to show up. Alright. Been here for about an hour and a half. Still nothing. No one's really catching anything either, so we're just here hanging out, hanging out with family and friends. After fishing for about two hours, we've decided to head home and call it a night. There wasn't much action going on, and we will just come back when the fish are abundant. Ship Creek, we shall return. here in Anchorage. Uh, we just got here at Bass Pro Shop. We're gonna go check out some few things, maybe get some spinning glow hooks. So we're gonna go there and then yeah, that's the plan today is go to Bass Pro, get the stuff we need. This place is definitely a paradise. There's something about outdoor stores that get me excited all the time. We headed out to eat some Filipino food. We haven't seen a Filipino restaurant in a while, so we are all excited. And then you lock up. You don't have lock up. We ordered some unique specialties from the Philippines. The wife ordered deep fried milk fish, 
and I ordered some coconut based jackfruit. These are the dishes that we missed and not often consumed so we didn't think twice by ordering them. To cap off our lunch, we ordered a unique dessert called Halo Halo or mixed tropical fruit mixed with ice, milk, taro ice cream, and flan. This is what I call food for the soul. Mix, mix. Mix, mix. Mm. Hoping to get some fishing action, we decided to drive to Russian River at Cooper Landing on our third day. That is when the real adventure began. Russian River is one of the best fishing spots out here in Alaska. Just be aware that this place gets extremely crowded, so you may experience what they call combat fishing. This is when you're literally standing shoulder to shoulder with the person next to you, hoping you don't get hooked in the face. Both grizzly and black bears are also here to catch some fish, so make sure you are aware of your surroundings at all times. Bear safety on the Russian. Kun. Tingin kayo sa ano nyo, left and right nyo ha, baka may mga ano dyan. Baby bears. I don't see any action over here. You can see there's a bunch of people. Hopefully we can catch something guys. It's time to look for the best spot. Hmm. See three over there. Three fish. Seems like this guy's been catching it. Alright. I tried that. Alright, walking right behind you, sir. Might get on that spot. I might get on that spot right beside you. Are they coming back? Oh. Okay. Are, are you coming back? Okay. I'll be like, yeah, in between. Oh. <laughs> you got any luck so far? Slow. For how much? Six hours? Finally got a spot. Oh, someone just got one. Lost one, I guess. All right, about to try this one. Right here. See what happens. This setup works. This method of fishing is called flossing, or also known as flipping. The ultimate goal is to allow to drift the weight naturally on the bottom, so it would drag your leader along with your boat. Since sockeye salmon have their mouth constantly open, the line would land in between their mouth. And as you pull your line out, the hook would then penetrate around your face. You are literally flossing the fish with your line. I got a 
fish. I don't know what it is. Initially, I thought it was a trout as it was not fighting very much. Thank you, Oya. Got one again. Papagod to, pagpagod, mas madali siyang init. Woo, got another one. Fishing for about two hours, we've decided to head back. Yeah. Two grizzlies right there. Actually, there's three of them now. Uh oh, they're coming down this way. Those three cubs were getting closer to our location as they constantly sniff for food. They may seem friendly and cuddly, but those grizzlies are far more dangerous than they look. By far, this has been the closest encounter I have with bears. It makes me a little nervous but we had to remain calm and refrain from sudden movements. I was fascinated how most fishermen just kept on going, regardless of the bear presence behind them. Welcome to Alaska. They finally moved on and went back to the pools. After a fun and intensified day, it's now time to head back to camp and take some. Fresh catch from 
Russian River. The wife is gonna be late. What's up, babe? Hey guys, what's up? What can you say about our bear experience today? Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> you didn't get scared? I was scared. <laughs> Ooh, nice meat. Look at that. We're about to try this guys. Freshly made sockeye. Ooh, it's 4th of July. We heard some, we just heard some fireworks. Um, but yeah, I'm about to try this fresh sockeye, white rice mixed with some seaweed uh, seasoning, wasabi, and some fresh seaweed also. So, mm. delicious. Another outstanding weekend on the books. I am grateful to be able to spend some quality time with the family, share some laughter, celebrate the wins, and sometimes endure the disappointment. Thank you again for joining us on our adventure. We hope to see you.